We have finished the most difficult part of this app, which is to store data in a database. So it's time to improve the looks of our game. And it's gonna be much easier than the previous chapter. The first thing that we're gonna do is download the fonts for this app from Google Fonts. And I chose this font called Kavit Brush because I wanted my font to have a handwritten feel to it, as if someone was writing with chalk on a green board. But of course, feel free to choose whatever font you like. After you download this font, you have to move it to the fonts folder inside the resources folder. And this is the only font that I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna delete the other ones. Then in the Maui program class, we have to register this font and I'll take the opportunity to delete the fonts that I'm not using. I've also searched on the internet for a picture that will be my background and I'm moving it to the images folder and I'm deleting the .NET bot picture since I'm not gonna use it. And to apply this background, I have to go to the content page tag and add the background image source. And I'm doing the same to all three pages that I have in my app. With that, if I run the app, I can see that the background image is working. And of course, you have the freedom to use whatever image you want as well. Now let's go back to the game page demo and let's change the font size of the question label to 80. And let's add the dark olive green background color to the answer entry along with the font size and the text color. We will also set the submit answer button font size to 32 and the game over label to 50. And the last modification in the game page demo will be to set the back to main menu button font size to 32. In the main page, we're gonna change the button text to the symbols of the operations instead of the words. And the multiplication symbol looks like an X, but it's not really. It's a specific symbol that you can find online or in my GitHub repository. And the same for the division symbol. I'm also gonna set the maximum width of all the buttons to 100 and the font size to 60. And I'm setting the view previous games button to have a font size of 32, maximum width of 300 and maximum height of 70. And I'll change the labels in the main page to have a font size of 50. I can also simplify the row and column definitions by clearing them in one line in the grid tag. So here I'm setting two rows and the second will have a height of 150 and all four columns will have the same size. Now we've changed the text of the buttons and that's the criteria for the switch statement in the create new question to generate the game symbols. And that's not necessary anymore. We can just pass the text directly to the question label since the text now is the symbols. So I've removed the switch statement and in the string interpolation where I set the question label text, I'm gonna use the game type. In the switch statement where I process the answers, I need to change the cases to cater for the symbols. And I'll do the same in the game over method where we are setting the game operation. In the previous game's demo, I can also simplify the column definitions and the row definitions and I'm setting the single row in my data template to have a height of 50. And I'm also decreasing the padding in the vertical stack layout. And I'm gonna make the font size of our labels a little bit bigger. I'll set it to 32. And instead of using a button with text, I'm gonna use an image button, which will have as its source the trash.png, which I brought over to the images folder. And I'm also gonna add a header to our list records and for that I have a grid above the collection view and in this grid instead of binding the label text to a variable I'm hard coding the values then we're gonna go to the styles.xaml file where we can add global styles so in the styles that target our button we're gonna change the value to Kavit brush regular which we've registered in the Maui program and in the image button we're going to set the color to use the default colors that was set in the colors.xaml file and we're also going to set some padding. We're also going to set the color of the label to always white and the font to Kavit brush regular. So let's test to see if it works. And I forgot to reset the entry font to Kavit brush. 
and it looks like I've also forgot to change the size of the date label. So let's change it to 32. And with the button, I need to change the border radius to 8. Now, when I click on the delete button, I get an error. And that's because I was casting the sender object to button and now we're using image button. So let's change that. And if we run the app again, now everything works fine. And we can also see here that if we decrease the height of the screen, we can scroll up and down. And that's because we're using a scroll view. And that's it, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and check out the C-Sharp Academy's website. We're always releasing new projects and tutorials and join our community on Discord where you can ask questions and hang out with other C-Sharp students. See you next time.